Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna be talking about the loop in WordPress. And to give you an idea about what the loop actually is, is really all you have to do is take a look at any of your template files and you'll see a comment that says the loop, right? Um, actually, if we come into one of them, let's come into the even the most one we we touched most recently start the loop here we are and this is a comment that you're going to see in most templates that are producing your content well i should say yeah most of all templates that are producing your content so the templates that are producing and so the loop actually is what's outputting all of your posts on the home page here it's also what outputs an individual post uh, on a post page and it's what outputs the content on a page. So what is the loop? Well, the loop is really just a PHP while uh, that's grabbing all of the posts that it's supposed to display and then it displays what it needs to display. So it goes through and it says, all right, got the first one, Do is there a second one? Okay, got the second one, is there a second one? And it keeps grabbing your posts, so on and so forth. You'll notice that we have one, two, three posts here, right? And they're all being output. And then it would get, at the end of this third post, it'd be like, do we have another post? No, okay, stop outputting posts. So to see what is actually making this homepage work, we're gonna to wanna to go to the index page. Now let's come to our finder and I'm going to copy the index.php template right here from our base theme into our child theme. And right here, now we have that. Now let's open that up in Sublime Text. And here we have our main template file. And we'll scroll down, we have our main content and you'll see some PHP stuff. Um, but really what's important here is we're talking about the loop and it's starting the loop. So the first thing you'll notice it says if we have posts then do the loop. If there's no posts it's not even going to bother running the code to check to see if you have or how many posts you have and output this. Okay so here on line 34 it's saying while we still have posts output the post now well this code this line right here isn't what's actually outputting the post but it's grabbing the post to output now in here it's saying get template part and uh we're basically uh right inside of here is where it's grabbing the post template to actually output all of that stuff now after it's found and output all of our posts. So after it's gotten the title, the body, and the tags, and all that stuff that's output on our homepage, then it's going to output a paging navigation. This is a comment that says it's a previous next post navigation. And you'll notice that's only if we need uh, additional posts, right? And then it's going to say uh, we have an else statement here. So it's saying if we have posts, if there's no posts, then output this no posts found template. And then the loop ends right at this end if. So now you'll notice this is all wrapped inside of these PHP tags. Anytime you have a PHP statement, it needs to be wrapped inside of PHP tags. The opening tag is a less than question mark than PHP. And the ending tag is just a question mark greater than. You also notice that many of our lines in PHP end with a semicolon. There's a reason why this else doesn't. It's because it's in the middle of this if statement. But other than that, we have our endings ending with a semicolon. Now, one way you can visually understand this a bit more is if we do our what we've been doing and just echoing a test, right? We've just been putting tests somewhere on the page. So to illustrate how this is looping and since we're on the home page only uh, let's echo a test so in PHP if you want to print something there's a couple ways to do it but if you're just printing a string here we can type echo space and then quotes and now I'm just gonna put in test and then after that I'm gonna follow it up with a semicolon 
Now, it's important to note that inside of these uh, um, quotes, you could also do something like H1 test, right? And this is actually going to output this as an H1 in your code. So let's come to our page. Now you can see when I refresh, we now have a test above every single post content. And that's because this echo test is being put above the git template. So if we go ahead and cut this out and put it below the git template, but still within the while statement, the test is now below every single post. Well, you might be wondering, how do I get inside of this? Well, this is actually a, another template. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this H1 test because we know where we're at already with that. And let's check out our theme files again. Now I'm in the parent theme and uh, you'll notice we have these different content, right? We have content page.php and uh, the one we're gonna want is just content. So let's go ahead and move content.php into our child theme. Now within content.php, what you're going to see is an HTML structure that is the exact same as what we would see if we were to inspect our page. If we come to our page, right click, inspect this, we're going to see an article with an ID of the post number, a header with entry header, an H1 with the entry title, and so on. If we come to our Sublime Text page, it's going to, you'll see that we have our article with an ID of our post, and then it's grabbing the ID with this PHP uh, function here. Then we have a header, we have our entry title, and stuff like that. Well, this is awesome because now what we can do is we can absolutely modify anything we want to change the output of how these things are outputting on the page. Let's say we wanted the categories, which you see is uncategorized up here. We want this up here below the title. Well, you can see that uh, we have this entry meta and it's saying, um, it's saying uh, category links, right? So we can just grab this whole div. Let's cut this out of here. And I'm going to paste it just below this next PHP thing that is just grabbing the title here. And now that we save this, refresh, you'll see we now have the title and then our meta. Um, and in fact, if we didn't even want category links here at all, we could just delete them. Deleted, refreshed, they're gone. We don't have to ever see them again. And remember, if we didn't like this change or we messed something up, you can always go ahead and just delete this or uh, compare it to the other content.php in the parent theme and see what you did wrong. And chances are, if you mess something up in the PHP, it could be you know, a quote here, a missing bracket here, or a semicolon here or there. It's, but if you're not modifying the PHP yet or you're comfortable modifying PHP, you should be totally fine. Okay, so this is the content, right? And you'll notice that when we made one modification to this template, it made it to every single one because that's what the loop's doing. It's saying, hit this, all right. Uh, it's saying, okay, here, do we have a post? Okay, let's get the template and in the template, it's gonna output everything for one post. Okay, now it's gonna go to the next post. Now it's gonna go back to this template, output all this stuff for the next uh, post. And it's gonna keep doing that until all your posts are done. Now the same thing happens when we want to output a page, even if there's just one page. If you'll come to our page no sidebar, which we made before, you'll see that we still have this loop, and only this time it's saying get the page template, and it's going to say while well, we have posts, but the whole thing is it's only gonna return one post. So it's only going to return one thing. So you can see the loop is used all over this site, and this is just scratching the surface of the basic concepts about the loop. So. 
visualize a loop it just goes around and around and around finds your posts and outputs them and uh, it uses you know the various templates that you need uh, to output that data uh, via a page or a post or whatever so this is the loop basics trust me if it doesn't make a ton of sense right now it's going to get cleared up as we get deeper and deeper and you truly start to understand the format and the structure of these documents so, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video. Or hit us up at Twitter, Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. And I am definitely uh, should mention Level Up Pro, the new paid subscription service for leveluptuts.com. It just gives you some additional features like being able to download our videos. And more importantly, it helps support Level Up Tuts, which is a totally free effort. We're going to keep these videos for free and uh, I want to keep it that way. So to do that, we need some support. So if you feel like supporting Level Up Tuts, check out Level Up Tuts Pro, sign up and support us to make Level Up Tuts even better. So as always, this is Scott with the Level Up Tuts and thanks for watching. Bye.